Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I'm going to be mastering the UTS-15 in Battlefield 4. That's right, I'm coming back to my Battlefield 4 Weapon Mastery series. We're going to try and master all the guns in this game, and I'm most of the way there. Now for those of you not familiar with the Weapon Mastery requirements in BF4, you have to get 500 kills with a weapon, and that will allow you to unlock the Mastery Dog Tag. In the process, you also unlock all the attachments for the gun. Now the UTS is one of those interesting bullpup design shotguns. Normally shotguns have a large stock on the back of them that doesn't have any sort of moving parts in it, it's just a stock. That's the only purpose that it serves. In this weapon, the stock is actually housing the trigger mechanism and other parts of the weapon so that you can conserve some of the space. So you're loading the shells towards the rear of the gun, the trigger mechanism is in the rear of the gun. You can have a shorter weapon overall. And this gun has gone a step further. Rather than having one single chamber to store your shotgun shells in, they've put two side by side at the top of the weapon. Which is why you have that funny reload animation where you're putting one shell in the left side of the gun and one shell in the right side of the gun. Both of those chambers feed into the same barrel and you can actually load them in real life with different types of ammunition. And you can choose to switch between the two magazines at will or you can have it alternate between the two. Now the point of putting two magazines side by side is that you can store twice as much shotgun ammo which is why the UTS-15 can store 15 rounds. This means that you can potentially kill up to 15 people before before you actually need to reload this weapon. Now, for realistic purposes, you're gonna be missing a lot of those shots, but it does give you the potential to kill quite a few baddies before you actually need to even think about that reload animation. The benefit, of course, with shell-loaded shotguns in this game is that you can interrupt your reload animation at any time to take a hip-fire shot. Now, one of the downsides of the UTS-15 is that it has the longest per shell reload out of any shotgun in the game. So basically you have a massive magazine capacity, but it's going to take you a lot longer to reload it than any other shotgun. I don't see this as a huge downside overall. Uh, you're just going to be spending most of your time reloading this gun in between engagements. Now one of the most important statistics with shotguns is how many pellets do you shoot per shot? Well, the UTS-15 shoots 10 pellets per shot. Each of those pellets is capable of doing 18 damage maximum in close quarters. So you have 180 damage potential with this weapon, provided every pellet hits your target. Most situations, they're not going to hit your target, but it does give you some leeway depending on how many pellets are going to miss. There's a lot of shotguns out there that shoot nine pellets per shot. That would be the Sega 12K. And then at the top of the charts would be the Hawk 12 gauge, which shoots 14 pellets per shot. All of these shotguns have different uh, pros and cons. They do have slightly different spreads on each of them, slightly different rates of fire, and slightly different reload times. The UTS is definitely on the slower side when it comes to rate of fire, and it can easily be outshot by the SPAS-12 and the 870 MCS. Furthermore, the SPAS-12 and 870 both carry more pellets per shot, so you can shoot them faster and they can potentially do more damage. So on that front, the UTS-15 is not going to be a powerhouse in the damage department. What it does well though is that magazine capacity. The SPAS-12 can only carry 9 shots and the 870 can only carry 8 shots. So you are pretty much doubling your ammo capacity with the UTS-15, giving you much more leeway when engaging multiple targets. Now if you like to be precise with your shotguns and you run something like a full choke, which basically modifies your spread to be as tight as possible, giving you the most range possible, but also also the least amount of leeway in terms of your accuracy missing shots this can be a fun way to get as many kills as possible because you're going to run into a lot of opponents that are not right in your face but more at a medium range engagement the UTS-15 is still perfectly capable of one-shotting people at kind of a closest to medium range distance provided that you are very accurate with your shots and you're using a full choke you might not even notice that big of a difference in terms of the damage uh, output between this weapon and other pump action shotguns because as long as you're one shotting it's a one shot kill with 10 pellets per shot or 14 pellets per shot now i'm coming up here on my 500th kill for the mastery dog tag with this gun uh, i've been enjoying the uts 15 the whole time i've been using it it is a fun shotgun to use it has unbelievable potential when it comes to killing tons and tons of targets however if you're looking to kill like a smaller quantity of targets but have more reliability with it, then I wouldn't recommend this gun. This gun is for basically precision shooters, which sounds funny to say about a shotgun, but honestly, that is the benefit of this gun. 
It's gonna do less damage per shot, so you need to be more precise. You need to get more of those pellets hitting your target in order to get the one shot kill. If you're not that precise, then you can run something that shoots a lot more pellets, like the 870 MCS or the Hawk 12 gauge, and then you don't even need to use a full choke, and that'll give you a little bit more leeway in close quarters. Not a whole lot overall though, and that is one of the things to understand between using a shotgun with a full choke or no choke whatsoever. It's not going to be a massive difference in CQB. Now an interesting little fact about this weapon is that it's actually super unreliable in real life. This is a gun that I don't think a lot of uh, tactical operators are going to be adopting. In the real world of SWAT teams or combat or whatever, the thing apparently jams up all the time. So even though you got 50 15 shots to shoot, chances are you're not going to make it through all 15 without at least one jam. It's not to say that every UTS-15 out there is a total piece of junk, but you don't have to go far on the internet to find a lot of people complaining about this weapon. It would be interesting to see if uh, DICE decided to include one of the main competitors for this gun, which is the kel KSG. It's a similar style shotgun, bullpup design, and it can hold 15 rounds just like the UTS-15. Now as far as getting your 500 kills with this shotgun, I would would recommend Team Deathmatch. You can get lots of kills in other game modes, it's just that a lot of other game modes require you to cross large open stretches of land, and that's going to be hard with a shotgun because you're not going to be effective in those situations. You have to get indoors, you have to get close quarters, and that's the only way you're going to get that one shot kill. If it's a two shot kill, you're pretty much dead to whatever you run into. Anyway, I know a lot of people love the UTS-15 in Battlefield 4. The damage potential is awesome if you can get a kill with every single shot. That's 50 before you need to reload far higher than any other shotgun in the game. Let me know in the comments which weapon you'd like me to master next. There's a list in the video description. And as always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.